Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to my first anime video. So I've been watching anime since like 2006 or 7. Before that I've watched some shows like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade. So yeah, without further ado, let me recommend you some shows I thought were decent. Sabi Kui Bisco, this was not so bad. I was invested in the story. I did not feel like I was wasting my time, like most of the animes this season. Imagine Naruto, but it's shorter and maybe more mature. Lee Dale no Daichi Nite. This was a comfort anime for sure. It has the same premise as most of the animes these days. A girl dies and she's transported to a gaming world where she's overpowered and she can do anything she wants. I laughed at some jokes, some were cringy. I don't like these jokes when a female beats a guy. Imagine this the other way around. People would cry about it on Twitter or so, but here's like, yeah, fuck up the guy, like kill him. I am not 12 anymore, this is not funny, this is fucking abuse. So yeah, it was comfort food. It was like eating at McDonald's. Nothing special, nothing serious, but fun stuff nonetheless. I wouldn't watch it again, but it was fun. If you are a child, watch this. You're going to have a blast. Tribe 9. Basically, they've took some rules from baseball and added violence to it. And that's the entire anime. It's about one team that plays this extreme baseball. I really enjoyed it. I was surprised by many events that happened in the story. I was not ready for it. And it was a good time. I would give this one 7. Sono biske dol wa koi wo suu. What the fuck? This one was a surprise for me as well. It's about a guy who's creating this traditional Japanese dolls or something. And he meets a girl that is into cosplay. And he's going to do some outfits for her. It had too many edgy scenes for me. But it was kinda wholesome. I would give this a 7 out of 10 as well. Go watch it if you like cosplay. You can learn some stuff from it for sure. Like, I did not know that they were spending so much time and effort into creating these outfits. You also need to have a lot of money to do it, so... It's a rich man's hobby for sure. So let's move on to the next one. Shikaku Mono no Saikyo Kenja. This one is basically the most generic one I am going to recommend because it's again a reincarnated guy who's overpowered. It's all about magic and some crests. He wanted the fourth crest, which was considered the weakest one. That's why he reincarnated himself a few thousand years later. And of course the world changed and now he must save it. I think children are going to enjoy this one. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. I am not going to watch it again. So the next one is Orient. This is a typical shunen for children. It felt like a worse bleach. I'm giving this 6 out of 10. I have no idea where this is going. I am not going to read the manga. I respect my time. Hakozume. Now this is about police officers in Japan and I really enjoy it. This is probably the anime I am going to remember even after this week ends. So yeah, this is 7 out of 10. Riemann's Club. This is about the guys that play badminton and also work in a corporation. And that's it. It's another sports anime like Hakyu and Major. There is some drama here and there. Some people have some injuries, you know, the basic sports stuff. But I really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. The next one is Tokyo 24th Cool. I have ambivalent feelings towards this one. This feels like a cheap copy of Minority Report. It was this movie with Tom Cruise back in like 2002 or 1. The only reason I am still watching this is I want to know how it ends. The next one is Sayuki Reload Zeroin. This is another one in the long Sayuki Reload series. Like look at this. 
we have those four guys. <laughs> like, that's all I know. They're going somewhere to do something. I have no idea what they're going to do because the last season came out five years ago and I don't have time to watch it again. I guess they are going to save the world from the demons. The next one is probably my favorite one on this list. Kaijin Kaihatsubu no Kuyotsisu san. This is about a development department where they create monsters so heroes can fight them. And we have a lot of corporations, these evil corporations, and they are creating monsters. And there are also hero corporations, you know. And this is my favorite so far. It's interesting, it's actually funny. I have nothing against this show. And it's going to be sad to see it end. So I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10. Koyoshi Ai. This one is a typical romance probably for women. It's about this assassin who's like very into this one girl and there's a mystery behind all of this. I just hope they are going to explain everything in the next one or two episodes because I want some answers, man. And the final anime is Shenmue. It's based on the video game. I was thinking about dropping this after the first two episodes but it's becoming better and better, so now I am actually interested in how it's going to unravel. So yeah, these were the shows I would recommend to you. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Write down in the comments which shows you've enjoyed this season, maybe you haven't enjoyed anything or maybe all of them. I hope you had a great time, goodbye.